Ta-da! Okay, the whole kitchen's not in place yet. The back cabinets. Back cabinets are there. And, well, I'll give you a quick little tour. So over here, in this box, will be the oven. And this big space here is what we call the machine cupboard. So it'll have a couple of big doors that open up and slide in. And there will actually be a bench inside here. So a bench inside a giant cupboard. And we'll have a couple of shelves here as well. And basically you can put your machines there. So the juicer, the toaster, the kettle, that kind of thing. Over here, a bench in front of the window. Some cupboards underneath. And then this will be the fridge. And we have a bookshelf or maybe some wine bottles to store in the side there. Yes, starting to come together. Next week, some more of it is turning up and then the week after the rest of it. I asked for uh, the doors and things to just wait a little bit longer. The reason is, smell is really strong. I mean, this looks fantastic, but it was painted just today. So kind of sniffing up a whole bunch of Vox at the moment. Vox aren't always bad, but these ones from the paint, yeah, not quite what I would want. I've had the fan going, had the window open, but I've had an idea. It's time for an experiment. The smell is quite strong here, yet you can't handle it at all, and I have to say it's giving me a little bit of a headache also. So I do need to vent this out some more. But here's the idea I have. Sheep's wool. Did you know that there's actually been research done that shows that sheep's wool can absorb Vok? Here's the experiment. I'm gonna take some of these downstairs, open them up, lay them out. Let's see how quickly the magic sheep's wool can suck the smell out of the air. It sounds crazy, but this is part of the reason why I wanted sheep's wool. So that it's always around in the walls, in the floor, in the ceiling, doing its magic. I know I sound like I've gone a little crazy, but let's try it. Let's see if the sheep's wool can do its job. I'm either a genius or a little bit crazy or just all of them all together. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Um, let's see if the magic wool can do its trick. Now I am also going to open the window over here and have the fan blowing out the window. What that will do is bring any of the air from other parts of the house into this room and then push it out the window. That's the concept, creating kind of a uh, negative pressure in here, which sucks air elsewhere, pushes it outside. All right. I might fall for the placebo effect. You know, I might start to think, oh, it smells a bit better here. But Yenny will be the real one to tell whether this is good or not. The whole house has a bit of the smell of the lacquer and it's quite strong. So we might not sleep here tonight. Let's see. Um, okay, that's it. Let's see how this experiment goes. I'll tell you tomorrow, or I'll give you an update as soon as it happens. Uh, that's it. You got to see the kitchen start to come to life, and you got to see the start of some crazy experiment. Thanks for watching. You never know what's coming tomorrow. Come on, come back. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll be here. Bye.